The yeah, state police laid out their investigation. Fox 59's Alexa Green joining us now in the newsroom to discuss what their investigation found. Alexa. Good morning to you, Scott. ISB Superintendent Doug Carter says there were two main goals of this investigation. One to explain to the family of Drajon Reed and also to the people of Indianapolis what exactly happened that day. We do want to warn our viewers some of the videos and the photos that they are about to see may be disturbing. As we mentioned, it was back in May. IMPD officer Dijor Mercer shot and killed Reed during a foot pursuit. This was near 62nd and Michigan Road. Some of that pursuit, it was streamed live on Reed's Facebook page. Investigators say they used surveillance videos. They spoke to witnesses, brought in ballistic experts and a shooting reconstructionist. They were able to determine Officer Mercer initially used his taser as Reed was reaching for his weapon, but that taser didn't create a circuit. Then investigators say a total of 15 shots were fired, but shots six and seven went off at the same time, which investigators say simply cannot come from the same gun. Detectives say Reed was armed. They showed photos of that gun in that Facebook Live video. According to police, DNA on that gun matches Reed's, and investigators were able to trace the gun's serial number. The serial number was scratched off. We had our, our lab folks restore that serial number. We did a trace on that. We found that that pistol was obtained by Mr. Reed from a pawn shop in Texas. Following the grand jury's decision, protesters took to the streets in downtown Indianapolis calling for police reform. Some of Reed's family also showed up. That includes Reed's aunt, who does not believe justice was served. You didn't have to shoot him that many times. He didn't deserve it, regardless of what anybody felt about him. Now, IMPD also released a statement that said in part, quote, we understand that this result may be frustrating for some of our residents, but it is our hope that the full transparency offer offered will help to bring us closer to healing the division in our community. Mayor Joe Hawks had also released a statement saying in part, quote, this decision ends the criminal review, but it doesn't heal the divides that still exist in our community. I'll send it back to you guys.